Hey everybody, this is Marcus from Rick Mass Tech 25, and today we have a whole bunch of stuff that need to get turned into gaming PCs. Stay tuned. So, we finally received the long-awaited AliExpress bought off of eBay motherboard. It was quicker this way. Maybe. Um, but it was dead. So, we did get a partial refund from the seller. They felt bad. I mean, it was untested, but um, untested and broken in for parts. I mean, six in one hand, half a dozen in the other, I guess. But, um... Instead of returning the product, they said keep it. They said we'll give you a partial refund. I met them halfway, feeling like it was partially my fault anyway. I took a chance and I lost, but they were gracious enough to partially refund it for the third time I said that. But uh, I gave them a good review anyway. Uh, so we did end up getting the Asus H81 motherboard from eBay. Uh, tested, it does work. Um, tested by me and it does work. <laughs> Uh, the LED button came on and the fanny thing spins. Um, so, underneath the cooler, and yes, it is an old Intel cooler, but, you know, the density and the fins on this make it for a really decent um, air cooler. Not an aftermarket, no RGB, but very uh, sufficient. Let's just say that. It's more than sufficient. So... Uh, we do have dual channel RAM. Underneath here is the Intel i5-4590. It's the 9K version, so we won't be overclocking. But then again, um, not really needed. Depending on what games, I mean, if you're an enthusiast and you really wanted to get hardcore, um, you probably wouldn't be owning a DDR3 machine right now. I think the star of the show, though, is this Asus H81. I mean, uh, besides the GT1030, because let me tell you... This one made a huge comeback in the market because of, uh, let's see, lack of semiconductors or scalpers or crypto or, I don't know, Donald Trump has all the graphics cards hidden away and he wants the market to increase and inflate. Obviously, I'm kidding, but um, these days, even a GT1030, which we all know is pretty laughable if you're trying to game, but... As far as home theater system, or as far as, you know, some like gaming, some um, World of Warcraft, Smite. I mean, I'm pretty sure we could play Fortnite GTA on this. GTA is going to demand more in the, you know, CPU than the GPU. But <laughs> this whole build these days, where we at? We're at May 2021. Let me tell you, I could probably sell this thing for thousands. But we're not going to do that. What we are going to do, though, is we're going to slap it into this DIY PC. It's the SO8BK Black. All right, and as you can see, we put it all together, and it looks phenomenal. That N1 eSports case is what we actually ended up using. Uh, and then we went ahead and took the parts from another build to use in that other DIY PC case because... I really had high hopes for this i5 fork gen. Uh, we didn't end up using the GT1030 at the end. We ended up throwing in an RX 550. Um, on Afterburner, it is going to say R7360 because I neglected to change the graphics card. I did try a couple of them. Uh, I tried the GT1030. I tried a GT710. And I also tried the R7360 and ended with the RX 550 which was a little less than the R7, if you can believe it. But we beat the Xeon, which is my favorite part of this whole film, uh, because this next part is going to be heart-wrenching. User error, totally OBS. Uh, I set up the specs wrong, so it looks like a total slideshow. Um, Hitman came in around 30, 40 FPS at 1080. Um, Godfall, around the same, 30, 40 uh, Dirt Rally ran great. Fortnite ran great. You will not see those. Most of them didn't record. You could hear it, but it didn't record. All in all, I ended up trading this PC to a guy locally. Uh, 
he traded me for wait until you see it, but I don't want to get into that yet. Uh, it was for his wife. He ended up grabbing a G GTX 1650 G DDR6 variant, and he loves the PC. Loves it. If you like this, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. I want to say, if you got any comments or anything, throw them below. I always take criticism, positive and negative. Tell me what I did right. Tell me what I did wrong or what I should have did. Give me your stories. And as always, thanks for watching. Peace.